Welcome to another video lecture. Today we will discuss about the analysis of cable when the ends are at two different levels. I hope all of you have watched the previous section related with the cables. Even if you didn't watch, please go and watch and also understand the concepts. So, in the previous sections we consider the cable with the same level. The two supports A and B at the same level already we discussed and in this case we will discuss about when the support A point is here and B point is here. This is the case. Here we are going to consider. And in this formulation length of the cable and horizontal thrust all we will determine. And uh, usually in the exam point of view the problems related with this topic will be coming. Okay. So the final equation is very important in this topic. Okay. So let us consider two points A and this is B. First two point A and this point B. And we notice that there will be two reactions, horizontal and vertical, and two horizontal and point B also, two horizontal and vertical will be there. And let us consider a point C over this cable. And here UDL is applied. UDL or W per unit length is applied. And here we can notice that the distance from this A to C, the vertical distance will be H1. Let us consider this distance as small h1. And the vertical distance from this B and this C, vertical distance will be H2. And the distance, horizontal distance between A and C will be L1. And here B will be L2. This is the case. And the total length will be smaller. Okay, these are the sum of the given details in the, in the question. So, our intention is to formulate the value of length of cable, then horizontal thrust, how to calculate those values. So, let us take a small section from here, this cable. And we know that yesterday already we discussed about this point. The If <coughs> T is, the tension occurs here. So, cos theta equals H by T. So, T cos theta equals H, T cos theta, how it becomes cos theta equal to H by T, cos theta equals adjacent side by hypotenuse, so H by T, and T sin theta equals Ws, how it going to come, you are just taking a small section here, so the what is the total value W into X, that is the shape, total force acting over there, so T sin theta equals Wx. So if you divide 2 by 1, that gives tan theta equals Wx by H. And finally, tan theta we know that it is slow. So dy by dx equals Wx by H. Then, then you have to integrate. Integration means, if you integrate, dy by dx becomes y. And uh, the x times is going to be Wx square by 2h plus c. Then we have to identify what is the value for this constant c. And we are going to consider this C point as our x, y coordinate. So it will be our origin. This is our origin. X, 0, 0. This is our origin. So x equal to 0, y equal to 0. So finally the value of c equals 0. So the relation equals y equals wx square by 2h. This is our equation wx square by 2h. And we have to find out how this relation, this equation y equal to wx square by 2h is related with this dip h1 and h2 and l1 and l2 just to substitute the values this y represent the vertical distance x represent the horizontal distance so if you are going to consider the first case if you are going to consider the first case y will be h1 and x will be l1 and here h2 equals w l2 square by 2h just substitute these values horizontal component will be l2 and this vertical component will be H2. So, after calculating this, you have to divide H1 by H2 equals equation. Let us give 1 and this is 2. So, 1 by 2 gives H1 by H2 equals L1 square by L2 square. Then, if you are going to take the square root, square root of H1 by square root of H2 equals L1 by L2. Then, you are going to apply mathematical rule, dividend of component. And you will get, that means, 
square root if this is a equation a by b equals c by d then you can write down this is the equation so you can write down in this way also square root of h1 by square root of h1 plus h2 equals l1 by l1 plus l2 equals l1 by total length l this is the dividend com compound dividend of common rule okay and uh, you can notice that l1 equals then write down this equations directly what is the total length from this end and l2 also you can mention so these equations two equations are very important how this l1 is related with or l2 is related with h1 and h2 okay these two equations are very important please notice that then after that we are going to take the moment about c you are only going to consider the left first case you are only going to consider the left side so there will be va into l1 you are going to take the moment about the point c so va into l1 minus h into h h1 then minus w into l1 into l l1 by 2 means it will be udl component that, that that's why it is going to happen l1 by l Two. So the final B A equals this is the equation, and similarly you have to take from the right side also, and uh, the V B equation you are going to get in this way, and then uh, after that you have to add this one and two equations. So V A plus V B equals finally you will get W by two into L plus H one by L one plus H two by L two into capital H. Please calculate these values, okay, by yourself. So finally and. Uh, and we know that from the figure you can identify that VA plus B, B equals W into L. Only that UDL, UDL load is acting. So the force will be W into L. So substituting in this value and you will finally get the horizontal thrust value as WL square by 2 multiplied by square root of H1 plus square root of H2 whole square. So you have to by heart this equation also. Okay. Horizontal thrust value. Then finally we have to find out the total length of the cable. Means this ACB. You have to find out this total length of the cable ACB. And there is also a formula. Formula means you have to take the average. Average. Average means actually this distance A A dash C B. First you have to take then AC and then B dash. That is also written here. The summation value. This is a general equation. And after substituting all these values, you will finally get the length of the cable as L plus 2 by 3 into H1 square by L1 plus 2 by 3 into H2 square by L2. So from this equation, when the, when the cable is at two different levels, the question may ask related with the L1 and L2 from this center point and also the horizontal thrust distance and also the total length of the cable. These are the usually asked questions. So I hope the uh, derivations are all clear. So with this we will wind up today's section. Thank you.